Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Oracle of Atlantis. We're going to get into the full moon in Aquarius reading. The full moon is on September 19th, 2024. It is entering in Aquarius and shifting into Pisces. Said to be a good time for catching fish, the sturgeon moon. So this being Leo season can be a time of satisfying ourselves with the Aquarius energy is collaborating with others. Our balance between teamwork and individuality. So with the Heavenly Bodies Astrology Oracle, the cards that wanted to come out for this um, full moon in Aquarius, we have Gemini's energy with curiosity, intellect, network, and learning, as well as house number eight, which belongs to Scorpio. Transformation, karma, fairness, fears, and legacies. So what I would get for this is there's almost a change or a transformation in the way we network or communicate perhaps even our beliefs, philosophy, philosophies, karmic returns, things of that nature. So I am going to break down into each planetary reading. Some signs will be doubled with another, like Gemini and Virgo are ruled by Mercury. So the Mercury reading will be for those two zodiacs to get into what we need to know at this time for each sign. So let's dive in. So Pluto, which is Scorpio, pardon me, Scorpio's ruling planet of transformation. With its x-ray vision, Pluto reveals toxicity in the systems you lean on in complacency and the things you draw on for identity, status, beliefs, careers, and relationships. It bears the underbelly of your structures, revealing buried secrets and hidden truths. This is the realm of death and rebirth. It highlights the broken pieces you incarnated to heal in this lifetime and facing its karmic challenge is your ticket to the evolution of your soul. So we're going to dive into the Light Seer's Tarot to see what does um, Scorpio need to know through the full moon in Aquarius. There's your energy coming up again. Life, death, and rebirth. So this could be, um, I've noticed recently that a lot of people have like codependency issues when it comes to career relationships needing certain things for life to be a certain way and then when you change it it's hard to to find that vibration through your own transformation if that makes sense once you release the need for certain things but let's see what the tarot has to say Scorpio, for the full moon in Aquarius, what does Scorpio need to know? What is the energy for Scorpio? We have the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles can represent some sort of balance between our physical and spiritual lives. This was actually just coming out in Pisces reading a little bit. Um, connecting to your moon sign as like your, your inner, your inner being, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, as kind of like your heart and soul type of energy, whereas your physical body can be more your, your masculine container for the feminine, so to speak. But your masculine body, if you're a sun sign, Scorpio could have that kind of Scorpionic vibration. We have the Nine of Wands as the underlying energy. So the Nine of Wands symbolizes hard work and dedication, but it's like one final push and you will be through some sort of cycle here. 
this is very much the energy of like giving birth to a child, right? Like that one last push and that child is there. It is created. It is whole. With all those roles and responsibilities that you've been juggling, you may be feeling a little imbalanced. Busy much? Maybe your calendar is totally overbooked and you're feeling the stress of being stretched in too many directions. You may be on the edge of burnout here. You may be feeling the need to better balance dualities or opposing aspects of your life. Your time alone versus your time with others. Your material life versus your spiritual life and etc. Make sure you aren't investing too many resources in one area at the expense of another, especially when both are equally as important. Even though this card suggests that you're likely able to manage it all, do you desire this much juggling? Put some of your precious energy into creating a balance that you absolutely love, one that will allow you time to work, play, love, and create. This equilibrium will not take from your reserves of energy, but will add to it. The affirmation of the two of pentacles, I create an, an equilibrium in my life that allows me to be my best self. I create an equilibrium in my life that allows me to be my best self. I push beyond my own perceived limitations and I remain open and trusting as I do. Determination, resilience, defiance, the last defense, the final push, excitement for what's to come, and finding motivation in the face of difficulties. Don't give up now. You're almost there. Sometimes we become so enamored with our stories of rising up that our own shadows become romantic notions that we seek to defend. Let go of any ideas you have about navigating specific lessons on the path. Your time to relax into security and success is on the horizon. It's time for vacay, y'all. <laughs> so we're going to pull the closing words of wisdom with the Avalon magic. Closing words of wisdom for Scorpio, please and thank you. Scorpio, closing words of wisdom for the full moon in Aquarius. Oh, what's love got to do, got to do with it? What's love? I feel like I'm supposed to take both of these. So this is the card that wanted to come out. This is the next card in the deck. I just felt for some reason with the two of pentacles, the balance of the masculine and feminine principles. Love yourself for the courage you've shown to arrive at your best version today. You are in alignment with your soul's longings. Make a move now. That one final push. Maybe you have some sort of inspiration or idea um, come to mind. And it may seem outlandish to you, but maybe it's a call to take that risk. You are in alignment with your soul's longings. Make a move now. So that is the reading I have for you at this time, Scorpio. I hope it resonates. If it does, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I will see you next time. Many blessings. Live, love, and light. Take care.